Conference participants, all participants are muted and they can unmute themselves. Praise the Lord. We are going to start today. Amen. So good to have you all with us. Take care of something. So good to have you all with us today. Uh, glad to be in the house of the Lord one more time. I'm going to start with the word of prayer. Minister Benjamin isn't here. So I'm going to take his place in that regard, and then we're going to have some praise and worship, and then we'll get started with the remainder, uh, remainder, remaining parts of the service. Excuse me. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your loving kindness and your grace towards us today. We are here, God, because we believe that it's your will that we be here, here to give you glory, here to give you praise, here to worship your holy name. And God, as we are here today, we pray that your grace would be manifest in our lives to the utmost. We pray that you would get glory out of our lives. We pray that our worship will be received by you. We also pray that we are able to discern you in our presence. God, we have come to this place to glorify you, to worship you, and to praise you, to encourage one another, uplift one another in love. May this be our experience today. We ask it in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Thank God. Amen. Amen. We had a technical problem with the conference, so you all live stream it here. Just be patient with me real quick while I get those folks back on the line. Welcome to the pre-COVID world. All right, we're going to ask Sister Precious Michael to come at this time and lead us into praise and worship. Amen. We praise Jesus for his love and we thank him for so much. <laughs> and on this Sunday, we commemorate him. Remember his sacrifice. The greatest sacrifice and gift of love we'll ever know. So I, I'll praise him. Savior, you are worthy to 
of you know the blood will never lose its power. Power to save, power to redeem, power to cleanse. Thank you, Jesus, for your blood. Amen. Good to be here again with you. Welcome all of you. Those of you who are here in the sanctuary with us, those of you who are visiting us or viewing us on live stream, and those of you who are with us on teleconference, glad to have all of you with us. I want to thank those of you who were able to join us yesterday for our church's uh, business meeting so that we could attend to uh, some internal matters in the house. Grateful for you giving us a piece of your Saturday yesterday. Amen. Glad to have all of you again who are with us this day of the Lord. I have a couple of acknowledgments, announcements to make, so I want to make sure I cover everything and cover it appropriately. Uh, before I do that, however, I notice we do have a guest with us. If I can just have you stand, give us your name, and tell us who invited you. My dear sister. <laughs> Amen. Give us your name again. Stacia. 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 God. God bless you. Good to have you with us. Thank you, Sister Jennifer, for inviting her today. Amen. Who else do we have? Amen. God bless you. You were invited by Jennifer too, right? Amen. Thank you for being here with us today. Amen. Glad to have you all in the house with us, uh, here to worship with us and to uh, give glory to our God. Always glad to have visitors in the house. Amen. We want you to feel comfortable. You're among family and friends here. All right. God bless you. Thank you again for being here. Uh, we may even have some visitors who are joining us by way of live stream. Glad to have you with us. Uh, amen. Also. This is the first Sunday of uh, the month, so we will have communion service immediately following the preached word of God. So we want you all to be prepared for that. I believe uh, for those of you who are in the house, you have been served to make sure that you can participate in communion. Uh, those of you who, uh, members in particular who are joining us virtually, uh, if you need any more uh, communion supplies, make sure that you contact the office so that we can make arrangements and certainly uh, you can come here to the house and pick those up too. Amen. Uh, we also want to acknowledge on this first Sunday the birthday that we have. And that would be that of our own sister Ruby Ross. She celebrates a birthday this month. We want to say thank God for her. And we're wishing her uh, the happiest of birthdays. Amen. This month. Uh, I'm looking up her date. October 23rd. October 23rd. Thank you. I thought that was it, but I wanted to make sure because my mother's birthday is the day after, which is October 24th. So my mother, Minister Dolores Ransom, is also celebrating uh, a man of birthday this month on October 24th. So happy birthday, Sister Ross. Happy birthday, Minister Ransom. And all those who are celebrating birthdays in October, if you are a member of the church and this is the month that you celebrate a birthday and I'm not calling your name, it's because we do not have that in our records. Please make sure you contact the church and update your information. Speaking of information update, it's about that time of year where we're going to make uh, forms available for you all to update your information, how to contact you by telephone, email, address, amen, so that when things are happening at the church, we have a way to reach out to you. So once that the, those forms become available, we're asking everyone to complete, amen, those forms. Uh, also, we want to be prayerful. Um, our own deaconess, Sylvia Ware, will be traveling this coming week. Amen. Her brothers uh, who passed, her brother who passed, his service will be on October 8th. So she'll be leaving early Tuesday morning, super early. <laughs> so we want to remember her in prayer as she and uh, her sister Jerry and family travel amen, to lay their brother to rest this coming week, amen, or this week, I should say, amen, so let's remember that family in prayer, that's the Ware family and the Williams family, let's remember them in prayer. Uh, we also want to uh, remind you that this month, uh, Pastor Linwood Young is celebrating his, I believe, sixth pastoral anniversary uh, at the Mount Olive Church of Christ Holiness, that's going to be Next uh, Sunday, I believe, next Sunday afternoon, it's an afternoon service, next Sunday afternoon at the Mount Olive Church of Christ Holiness. So, amen. We're looking forward to being with them to celebrate that day. And then finally, later this month, October 22nd, will be the homegoing of Sister Bernice Seals, who passed uh, just a couple of weeks ago. Sister Bernice Seals, 
Uh, her service is going to be at the Pilgrim Church of Christ Holiness uh, under the leadership of Pastor uh, James Harper. And again, that's for Nice Seals. We'll have that service on October 22nd at 11 a.m. at the Pilgrim Church of Christ Holiness. Amen. Uh, I believe that's all in the way of announcements. We're going to do prayer next. Uh, just making sure I didn't forget anything. If I did, it's going to remind me. That was a lot. Uh, we're going to go to prayer. Um, as we do, I just got word that uh, Elder Leviticus Lumpkin is in the hospital. Elder Leviticus Lumpkin of the uh, Macedonia Church of Christ Holiness is in the hospital. I don't know more than that, but that's enough. Uh, for us to pray that God will heal his body. God Amen. knows. God Amen. knows. Amen? Amen. Uh, there are many. There are many. We certainly have a sick and shut-in list here at the church. Uh, Sister Viola Swan, Deaconess Correa Staten, uh, Sister B. Johnson, my own mother-in-law, Sister Grace Rice uh, are all on that list. And we just want to lift these names in prayer that God will be with them. Age does set in, and for many of us, that will mean less mobility, less ability to get out, which is why we appreciate this time right now. You remember, mother has to say, you never miss your water till your well runs dry. Amen. Well, that's a pretty bad time to miss your water. So we want to make sure we appreciate what we have while we have it. And we have the ability to be in the house of God, and that's not something to take for granted, amen? We want to pray for these who are sick and shut in, all the names I mentioned, the family of those who have lost. I'd like you to go to prayer with me. I can't mention all the names, but between all of us, between all of us, we can voice our desires before the Lord who hears our cries and attends to our cares. God cares. How many of you know that? God Amen. cares. Amen. Amen. Let's go to the throne just now. Yes. Father, God, Father God, we are thankful. Thank you. Thankful for your incredible grace and your mercy. For your great love towards us. God, we know that you love us. We know that you love us by how much you take care of us. You protect us from dangers that we see and many dangers that we never see. There was so much harm that could have come about, but you, your hand was over us to protect us and to guide us, and we're thankful. You supply all of our needs food that we eat, the clothes that we wear, the shelter that we enjoy. Those good things come from you and we are grateful. Yes. You are present with us. Even in times when we feel that like those around us, they don't get it. They don't understand what we're going through. God, you understand. You know the pains that we suffer. Physical, emotional, mental, even spiritual. You know our struggle. You know our struggle. You're acquainted with our pain. You took on the form of flesh so that you could be, so that when you ministered to us, we would know that we do not serve a high priest who is not touched by our infirmities. In every way that we are, you were tempted, and yet you overcame. You overcame your trials. You overcame your challenges. We can too. And we're grateful for that hope that you've installed inside of us. As we worship you and praise you today, we suspend for these moments any cares and concerns we have about this world. And this time that we spend right now, Father, it's all about you. It's all about you. We give you glory because you're worthy. Yes. You're worthy. Thank you. God, we you. magnify you. Yes, we Lord. enlarge your name by uh, trying it out. Thank oh, God. Our great God, our King of Kings. Thank you, Lord. Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Lord, our soon coming King. Amen. We magnify you. We lift you up. Yes. You Hallelujah. are more than worthy. You are more than worthy. Yes, Lord. Of all of our praise. We've called out names today. <laughs> names of those who need your comfort, your peace. Oh, God, your touch. We trust you. You know every situation. We trust you. That your will be done in these lives. 
we trust you. We ask you on their behalf, God, to make the difference in the quality of life. Make the difference in the experience of life. Give grace where grace is needed. Strength where strength is needed. Patience where patience is needed. Deliverance where deliverance is needed. Make whole where wholeness needs to be restored. God is only you can. And we'll trust you in these things. Now where sin separates us. Where we've fallen short of your glory. God, forgive us of our sins. Thank you, Lord. And cleanse us from unrighteousness. That we might stand justified in your sight. In good relationship with your son. This is our prayer. We pray it in Jesus' name. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. 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 God bless you. remind you of giving in this hour for those of you who are in the building and you have a tangible gift you'd like to give we'll set the basket out immediately following service so that you can come forward and get, give your gift please do not let this opportunity pass you by to be a blessing to God's kingdom building effort amen, amen. we give our first fruit to him amen because he is due in fact everything belongs to the Lord so he allows us to keep to rest. All of it came from him in the first place. Amen. So the Bible prescribes that when we give, we give willingly and cheerfully. I will not compel you to give by some rousing speech. Only say this is your opportunity to bless God with your giving. Amen. Have fun with it. <laughs> uh, for those of you who are giving digitally, which tends to be most of you, um, if you're doing it by cash app, you can simply use dollar sign. Bethel C-O-C-H. If you're using Cash App, dollar sign. Bethel C-O-C-H. If you're giving by Zelle or Venmo, uh, then you're going to use the church's email address. Bethel C-O-C-H at gmail.com. Bethel C-O-C-H at gmail.com. Um, if you're sending it by snail mail or physical mail, you're going to mail us a check. Please do not put cash in the United States Postal Service mail. Thank you. Um, but if you're going to send a check or maybe even a money order, you can do that post office 11664, P.O. Box 11664, still Los Angeles, California, 90011. And we'll put that information, all that information, uh, out for you in the live stream. Amen. Sister Precious Michael is going to prepare uh, a message and song for us. As he does that, I'm going to ask you to turn your Bibles to the book of Acts this morning. Chapter 1, verse 8. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. We shall receive power. All right. Ah, yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We shall receive power. I'm excited about it. Let's say amen for Sister Michael at this time. Amen. See you. 